Hi guys, KC Talks EV here, and as a follow-up video from the MG5 initial impressions video, I'm going to do the motorway range test. Um, this car was kindly lent to me by Maple Garage, especially on a weekend. I think that's absolutely spot on, so thank you so much, uh, Maple Garage. So in terms of the actual test procedure, it's going to be very similar to the summer one and the winter range test for the ZS EV. So it's going to be hold to burst storm back approximately 150 miles, 120 miles. Um, I unfortunately, because I've bit pushed for time with this car, um, I haven't been able to charge fully up to 100%. It has had a balance charge back at, um, back at my house, thank you. It's been the first time that Agile has gone uh, negative for a very long time, so thank you very much. Octopus Energy. Uh, in terms of some parameters, uh, today is about 9 degrees. There is a slight bit more wind than what I would normally do to test, so it's around 13 miles an hour rather than 8 miles an hour. However, it's not a direct headwind or tailwind. I think it's actually um, going up north. Obviously, because Agile went to negative yesterday, I think we're still dealing with the fallout from wind temperatures. Oh, sorry, wind speed. What am I about? Um, so in terms of tyre pressures, we're looking at 2.4 bar. Window, um, the door sticker, I'm not quite sure what the recommended pressure is, but it seems to be, well, I first of all, you cannot actually change it back to PSI on the um, screen. I haven't been able to find it in the units page or any of the um, other settings in it. I haven't really had a complete detailed look at the infotainment system, but it does look fairly similar to the ZS EVs. Um, I'll probably show some footage here um, in terms of the digital display. But yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, I'm at 98%. Uh, yeah, I always put a disclaimer in. Yeah, don't bother charging on a rapid charger, especially at these sort of high state of charges. It's just not worth it. I'm currently throttled down to approximately six to eight kilowatt as it kind of balances up to 100%. But anyway, let's get started.
Okay, so we're halfway through the test. We've done 57.5 miles, an average speed of 61 miles an hour, just under an hour to do, and we've averaged 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, a couple observations that I did notice about the car, which is quite interesting. First of all, on a cruise control, which is a standard cruise control, not a adaptive or MG pilot, uh, you can actually regen now under cruise control. That's not a feature yet on the ZS EV. I don't even think that's been put in after the comfort update, for example. Uh, another thing as well, to be fair, it's quite, it's quite quiet in here. Um, I may have mentioned this in the first impressions video, but the wind noise towards the back is ever so slightly more noticeable compared to the ZS. But in reality, you're not gonna notice too much of a, a difference. Anyway. are in and it's pretty good um so 114.9 miles average speed of 61 miles an hour took me just under two hours to do that and 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour so i started off just over 99 percent it literally just went to 98 the instant i went onto the roundabout on the way to the a63 so in theory I used about 71% to, do, to cover that distance. That equates to a 100% down to 0% range of around 160 miles. Well, 162, I think. I'll definitely put it down on there. So I then calculated the usable capacity. Now, this is where I have a feeling that it's going to be fairly inaccurate, probably because this is basically a brand new car. Uh, I got it with 16 miles and I managed to put uh, 200 miles on it. But anyway um just sort of doing my regular testing and range testing um and obviously it hadn't had time to calibrate the any of the state of charge or any of the thing to monitor state of charge the reason why is because i got a total usable capacity 52.2 the brochure itself actually says that its usable capacity is 52 point sorry its total capacity is 52.5 and its usable capacity is 48.8 kilowatt hours so i have a feeling that over the next thousand miles or so just like to be honest my zs ev it will start to settle down and give me a more reasonable figure but anyway um overall in terms of refinement over the 150 miles i covered it seems absolutely fine the seats are fairly comfortable the wind noise is fairly restrained um especially compared to the um well compared to the zs ev it's about on par um obviously with the suv body style you are going to get a little bit more wind noise whereas this one had was slightly restrained however there was one um noticeable difference as i said uh, halfway through you do get a little bit more wind noise coming towards the back Part, portion of the car rather than at the front so not too much wind whistle from for example the mirrors but definitely from the 
where you do get a little bit more. Um, obviously you get used to it, so it's not really too much of a problem. Enjoy the video or found it very interesting, please like the video, uh, dislike it if you don't. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're nearing 500 subscribers, which I'm really sort of grateful for. It's, it's only been, well, it's just been under a year. Uh, and I will talk to you later.